Live from the Mission Bay Conference Center in San Francisco, California. It's The Cube at Google Cloud Platform Live. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Frick. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live in San Francisco for Google's developer conference. We are, it's called the Google Cloud Platform Live. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. Um, we're here with two great guests, Datastax and Tableau. Seema Haji, Director of Product Marketing at Datastax. We've loved data sets, been on theCUBE many times, and Jeff Fang, Product Manager at Tableau Software. Of course, theCUBE's been at your event multiple years. Huge fan of both companies, although data stacks lately, you know, come on, we got to get to Cassandra Summit next time. Yes, Make sure the cube gets there. Do, Jeff. Welcome to the, welcome to the welcome to the cube. Thank you. Thank so you. first, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about Google? Google's moving in town with muscle. It is. Are they polite? Are they throwing sand in the sandbox? Are they being are they playing nicely in the ecosystem? They are, and it's uh, it's been a pleasure kind of working with Google, both this event and most recently, uh, we actually did a joint interview at uh, where Google was at our headquarters in Santa Clara, interviewing us as customers. So it was a very very fun event. testimonial. Yes, they mentioned um, you know uh, Cassandra. Mm -hmm. cluster on Kino today. Correct. What do they, they mean by that? Give us an example. Why did they mention that? Was it because of the SSD? Was it a performance? What was it about? So, um, you know, for folks unfamiliar with data stacks, what we do is we deliver Apache Cassandra to the enterprise. Um, Apache Cassandra is a massively scalable, NoSQL distributed database. So what we do essentially is take Cassandra, production certify it, add features like search analytics, um, and we're here today because of uh, Cassandra deployments on Google Cloud. And uh, we did a joint demo with, with Jeff and Tableau. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. So turn out the demo. So let's do having a little bit of a, a, a love fest here at, on theCUBE. So tell about the demo. Yeah, definitely. So uh, we currently, we, just for the conference, we put together a demo where uh, essentially what's happening is uh, uh, Datastax put together a um, device which detects wireless uh, devices in the, in, the, in the area. And so after they got the data feed working, uh, we used our Apache Spark connector to be able to connect directly to their cluster and visualize in real time the number of devices within a 50 foot radius of the kiosk. So, so this is data driven visualization. So you're making sense of the data, you're capturing the data. Correct. So is that kind of the marriage there? Yeah, you know, think about your classic Internet of Things style application. So what we've done essentially is um, we've built um, sensor network devices that are testing and, and detecting wireless devices that are in the vicinity and then writing this information in real time to Apache Cassandra. What Tableau and Jeff's team essentially has built is they are ingesting, you know, high speed information from the Cassandra cluster, which essentially is on Google Cloud, and then building their gorgeous visualizations on our information that's stored in, in Cassandra. So Tableau, you'll play with any cloud, right? Because you guys have a model that's kind of not owning the stack. You mm -hmm. guys don't really aren't playing to own the stack. You're going to play on top of the stack, right? Exactly. So one of the one of the great aspects about Tableau is we really try to democratize data access. Uh, we connect to over 40 data sources today and we can connect either live or via extract. And so what that means for any business user is that they can go ahead and blend data together and do a combined analysis that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So Seema, give us the update on Datastax because obviously mm -hmm. Datastax is one of those, I would say, I would, unsung heroes in the big data world. Obviously, Q has been covering big data since it really was became a term. A Duke World's initial thing, and I mean, it, 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 Billy many times, and you know, struck by the professionalism and just the you know staying to his knitting. But you guys are doing some pretty big business. And when we did Cassandra Summit three years ago with the Cube, one of our early Cube opportunities, you have some serious players that work for Cassandra, techies. So yeah. what, you know, what's happened? Is it, has it all materialized? Is it raining money? You guys kicking, kicking butt? Give us the update. Well, you know, I think what's happening is if you just look at the, the world around us, Jeff, and the way people are connecting with each other with processes and products and all that information, we're generating, these, these customers, these users are generating vast amounts of data. Um, and customers are beginning to recognize 
that they need to reinvent their database infrastructure. Uh, they need to rethink the way that they're doing business in order to remain competitive um, and build these online applications that are always available, uh, that can actually scale to accommodate um, business needs today. Um, and therein comes our success. Um, Cassandra is uh, massively scalable, built from the ground up to be always available and always online, and that's the huge attribution to our success. So I got to talk about Tableau because I'm a big fan. Obviously, uh, great management team over there, and, and, and great, great, uh, great vision. But security is huge this year. So one of the main themes of the conference was security. Um, so given that focus, how do you guys keep up with the competition? Because I'm reading some news here that Tibco is taking on Oracle. Click, Tableau, and the big data war. Yep. It's, it's a, it's a link bait article headline, yep. but, but you know, for the most part, you guys are the leader, so you get a lot of people going after you. So, yeah. one, you're in technology partnership, <laughs> so you got to go, go talk to everyone. Is it highly competitive out there or, or not? Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a complete dogfight out there. But I'm really glad you brought up the whole security story because that's actually a huge area of emphasis uh, for us on our new 8.3 launch, which is coming up probably later this year. And so in that launch, we're actually uh, unrolling um, Kerberos support, and so that's, that's going to fill in a huge, um, it's really going to round out a story around security and data access and providing that additional tools for admins to be able to secure the data. When we talked to the Google guys earlier, the perimeter is dead in terms of, I, that was my claim, I mean, it's always a kind of a blogger kind of, you know, but you know, the perimeter security was the old way. Lock the door, don't let the bad guys in. Right. Now you're living yep. in an API economy with innovations like Cassandra. You know, you have large scale production systems that have to have notifications, APIs. I mean, there's no perimeter in the cloud, Correct. right? So how do you guys uh, see that world and how has that changed some of the cultural things inside the company? Because you can't walk a day without hearing incidents increasing and breaches. Well, you know, that's going to continue to happen. What you know we can do as as a company, and you know, and Jeff would attest to this as well, is just building a product that can actually withstand um, all of the all of the attacks. So without giving away you know a lot of details, with our upcoming product launch, you will see the security theme just as Tableau and Jeff has, has just spoken about. You know, a lot of companies like Netflix um, and others love the whole scale out model, model. Right. Um, Netflix and just hypothetically just put them out of the air. Right. You know, random example. Not, I'm not sure if they, they're on your platform or not. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Um, are they? Yes, they are. Oh, they are. Okay, so yeah, they're... They <laughs> okay, so I'm a, Netflix is using you, you guys. So, you know, that's an alternative to say big EMC drives, for mm -hmm. instance. So oh, this is an example where open source is, again, innovating. So cost to run, scale out cluster, SAN, right. for instance, on Cassandra. Is significantly less expensive than, and we're not right? just and we're not just talking we're not just talking scale, right? We're also talking continuous availability. Um, you know, in today's in today's market, it is unacceptable for an online application to go down. You know, we we as a customer, I as a customer, expect my online application to be available 100% of the time. Um, so you know, Clear Capital is a good example of uh, our customer, where they essentially move their platform to uh, DataStax Enterprise for that 100% availability, and that's what Cassandra brings to the table. So we're, you know, we're talking a lot more than just um, being able to start anywhere and scale to any size. It's about you know, the, the continuous availability, and it's being able to uh, be agile enough to build and innovate features that your customers are coming to expect. So this is a great combination. We got under the hood data stacks, and on, on top of the dashboard hood, inside the Ferrari is Tableau, you got to tell a story out of all this. So, um, how do you guys talk about the what to report? How do you guys make make sense of all this data? Because now you got security breaches you were just talking yep. about. So now you got business outcome data, which yep. is going to be completely driven by data. You have Internet of Things, um, Seema mentioned, which is you know a whole lot with humans or machines, and machines are things, right? So you know, mobile devices. You're you guys are all about storytelling. Jeff, talk about how you guys do that. What's the secret sauce? Yeah, so, so a few points in there. One, uh, as you mentioned, like data is growing exponentially and people are having it's like a strong desire to want to be able to an analyze and understand their data. And so, you know, as I think about, you know, the story, there's, there's one part which is being able to come up with, you know, what's the interesting analysis. Mm -hmm. But then there's also the second part, which is, you know, how do I convey that message to other people within the organization? 
And actually, in our uh, 8.2 release, we just announced a new product called Storytelling, which was released back in May, I believe. And what that does is it's kind of like a, it, it allows you to top, tell interactive stories about your data within our product. So, so talk about the customers now. Are they adopting this? I mean, because you guys are pioneering. I mean, you're not necessarily, I'm sure Datastax is not like on the, you know, holiday list for EMC sales reps or other people that have the old way to do it in Tableau. You guys are disrupting, you know, essentially BI, which is old school data warehousing. And these are old entrenched industries mm -hmm. that you're disrupting. What's it like? I mean, what is some of the comments you're getting from customers? You have to sneak in the back door. How are you guys winning? And how are you guys winning deals? Um, you know, we win purely because of the technology, I have to say. It's um, when you, uh, when customers are thinking of their business and how to reinvent themselves, and they look at their infrastructure, as I said, and they're looking at their, um, their database um, um, transaction platform, right? They're looking at it, they're analyzing it and saying, hey, I'm here today, how do I get to where I need to be? You know, how do I actually capture and make the most of this internet economy um, and get and reach out to the customers that I haven't tapped into today? Um, so it really comes down to you know the technology, uh, what it's able to deliver, how easy it is to um, get into the market um, with innovative features faster than the competition, and it really comes down to pure business. So you succeeding. guys are pure technology, cost performance. Um, cost cost performance, probably facing scale. 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 Yeah. You guys are always been and high it's, performance. Yeah, and it's the it's, it's the innovation aspect of it. So you know you, you take a traditional business and they're reinventing themselves, and they bec they're becoming what we like to call internet enterprises. Um, and these are internet enterprises, are companies that are essentially using all of the information, all of this online data that's available to them to make smart business decisions. And that's really enabling people to be empowered, drive more, more right. change. Jeff, I got to ask you the question. I, I made a startup, just the other day I met a startup, you know, I, I felt I was in the Silicon Valley HBO special. They're in the house, and just really smart, they're all ex-Googlers. And we're the tableau for the legal industry. Like, okay, cool. But that's interesting, you guys are a leader, right? People are looking up the tableau. Um, how do you guys win in this competitive environment? You mentioned dogfight. Yep. Yeah, well, a great, absolutely great question. So I think it goes back to our core value proposition, which is we're, we make data analysis fast, easy, and beautiful. If you think about you know, how we started out, we started out about 10, 11 years ago, Christian and Chris, and, and Pat, and they saw this opportunity, which was data analysis was really, really challenging. I mean, people had Excel data, and it was people naturally analyzed data much better visually. On top of that, you have uh, people who write SQL code, which you know not everybody knows how to do, not for the average business analyst. And so what we've done is we've made it really easy to democratize the process. We've made it so that you don't have to write any code whatsoever. You can analyze your data through visual drag and drops, and we connect to a multitude of data sources, including uh, Cassandra, uh, data stacks, Cassandra. I think that's very key. Connecting to the data source is a really wonderful thing. You're agnostic where the data comes from. Exactly. Right? You can suck it in, you ingest. That, that's a huge part of the value prop because if you think about it, people have these walled gardens of data, and the data is not in one single source. There's going to be more data sources than there going to be less data sources, right? And that's a thesis you can bet on. Right. right? Exactly. Yeah, and it's continuously evolving. <laughs> exactly. Right? I mean, it's pretty basic. There's going to be more than less. Yes. Right. So you can bet on one, what do you bet? More. Right. Especially with Internet of Things. Right. And then, you know, to add to that, you know, you, um, as a user of Tableau, you don't need to do any additional data modeling on top. You can access the data exactly, you know, from the from where it's at without doing any additional processes. And that's a, that's a huge win because as a business who's invested a lot in these, um, these uh, databases, you know, they don't want to like, do a rip and replace. Yeah, they just and the want thing to is, the thing the about Tableau is you guys, you can implement and demonstrate change on any amount of data. For instance, I was talking to one of your customers, this was a great Cube interview. Um, he said, you know, literally changed our business. 1% increase in productivity as an Internet of Things customer, was a billion dollar impact to their customer. Billions of dollars. Not like a little thing like, hey, we can save some of our office expenses. No, this was a major impact of competitors. So the data is the goal, right? I mean, that's how you guys want to mine it, right? Exactly. All right, so talk about Google. So what's your relationship with Google? Now you guys are partnering up, good deal. What, what do you think about Google uh, Cloud here and the whole event and their, their position in the marketplace? Certainly a lot yeah. of power. Yeah. Are developers seeing it, you think? 
Yeah, I, I, I've definitely seen. Being You're not going to say no. You're in, no, no. You're in the Google <laughs> conference. Google yeah, conference. yeah, say no. Yeah. No, no, but, no, of course they are, right? But, from, yeah, but from t- customers I've been talking to, there's definitely been an increasing trend in terms of uh, developers interested in using Google Cloud Platform. Um, so we have a native integration of Google BigQuery, uh, which you know is a great story to tell because BigQuery brings real powerful compute. Um, you know, engine. Well, oh, big table too is big impact. I mean, Google basically almost wrote the book on how Hadoop evolved. The whole right. history of people don't know about Hadoop. Essentially, was the genesis came out of Google. Right. So, so you big table. I mean, um, big query. Yep. Um, anything else? So we we also uh, work with the Google Analytics team, and so we have a connection there. Um, but with the BigQuery connector, how do you get in the door of Google? Is there like a secret handshake? I mean, people want to know. Is there like just knock on the front door and say we're going to come in? I mean. Is there a our, I'm going to say our partner team knows a secret handshake. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, it's been it's been a fun event. It's been great working with Tableau. You know the um, the demo that we actually built uh, for for the event. It's this interesting trifecta with you know Google Cloud uh, with DataStax and uh, DataStax Enterprise. Not big if you a trifecta, which is heavily funded. Correct. By <laughs> or any trees and horror, it's one of those guys. So yeah. it's been it's just uh, you know I'm I'm very fascinated. Uh, with the potential that you know a simple demo like what we built today um, and the real-world application of something that we've simulated today so you know a very um, easy Internet of Things application which is sensing people around it and their wireless devices and then these guys are tableaus ingesting you know real-time streaming data to create these slick visualizations I was just talking to Jeff you know earlier this morning and I said you know think about um, the application of it you know it's it's in the cloud um, we have data centers on premise as well that ensures that it's always available. Um, think of like a retail store, for example, that's tracking every customer coming in through coming in its door uh, with their you know GPS and Wi-Fi enabled, and actually couple that with you know all of the the products that are available, and you have like a real life. Um, real-time inventory management, if you will, um, and that's that's just it's tremendous. Just the applications. Or something okay, like guys, we got to wrap up. We're getting the hook here from the producer, uh, Greg Stewart. Shout out to Greg Stewart, uh, doing a great job, Patrick. Guys, I wanted to get, give you the last word. So share with the folks out there. Um, what's it about here? What's the show all about? What's the sentiment? What's the vibe? What is the Google culture, and what are they bringing to the cloud? Um, you know, I'm going to say it's a set of smart, smart people under, you know, one roof um, trying to figure out how technology is going to impact their business and even the, the applications that they're trying to build. Yeah. And to add that to that, I would say it's a forum where you get a lot of thought leaders and partners together to share about our solutions, to share yeah. about um, our, you know, about the technologies that we each bring to the table and how we can integrate together and um, make users' lives easier. Yeah, so. to, to quote my uh, younger son, it's a chill environment here. It's in terms of like you know laid back, um, you know it's not over the top, you know in terms of you know cost, but it's it's first class in terms of the food yeah. and and the vibe is pretty strong here. I, I like the collaborative, and they're not really walking around with arrogance. I think that yeah. is something I like about Google. I mean, they're arrogant in, in their swagger, but not in a way that's going to offend people. people. Yeah. They're smart and they know it, and they want to bring be around smart people. Exactly. So we'll see. I'm watching them closely. It's four years now. I've been watching Google Class since the beginning. And I just see them out there snapping the line, surveying the landscape. I'm waiting for the megaton bomb to drop in. <laughs> and uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's a container engine. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not. We'll see. This is theCUBE. We're here live in San Francisco. Stay with us. We get more coverage here live at the Google Compute plat- Google Platform event here, Google Developers. This is theCUBE. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>